Yes, dude. Yes. Yes. Wow, man. It's good to be here. Sorry for a little horse. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was hollering. What were you hollering? Carrying on. You were, carrying on. I've never seen you carry on like I that. I was carrying on. Dude. Man, I was crowd surfing. Dude, that was... Skankfest was fun. Skankfest was that fun. That was a lot of fun. It was maybe too much fun. I had too much fun. I'll be honest with you. I had the perfect amount of fun. You did. Well, you tend to... I take it. I took it easy. Yeah. I took it easy. You're a teetotaler. But I would say... I am a slight teetotaler. I try to alter my states when I'm in like more of a therapeutic setting. I know, and I, it's not an attack, dude. I know you hate that. What? My the way I alter my states in a strict, like strictly spiritual context. What the hell are you talking about? Why do I hate that? <laughs> that really, was an attack. No, no, you're always all the all the. Like, what you, was my impression? You're getting high is different, or I don't know. I'm not attacking. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to make you as comfortable as possible. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> we're sitting here hanging out. I know we're having fun. You had this attack. fucking attack in your well, back well, pocket this whole attack. time. It wasn't even an attack. It we're watching attack. Gladiator together. It was you great. Have a, you have a secret you attack. Knew you knew. No, it wasn't a secret attack, dude. You might be the sun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely Maximus. Don't hug me. Don't hug me, dude. <laughs> I will squeeze you to death. Yes, you're in a very deep therapeutic state. It's campus. <laughs> no, I wasn't. That's what I'm saying. I avoided it. <laughs> oh, nice. The um no that's what you call well you called me a teetotaler which is kind of a you know isn't that a nice thing no dude teetotaler is someone who takes sobriety to the point where they're just like very oh judgmental. a cunt oh never mind now, although I, I think it's so I, I thought it was somebody totally, who no I I'm mistaken kind of teetotals the line I fucked that up I could be wrong I could just no be I think you're right I think you right now. teetotalers were I could just be that? squeezing you you could never squeeze my head to dude, death. if you were eighty I could squeeze you to death <laughs> yes if, if I was I'm 80, right now. Yeah. I'll never be 80. I wish, dude. I wish my grandfather was still alive. I'll literally I'll never be 80. squeeze him, dude. If my grandpa was still alive, yeah. I would, I would squeeze him. I have a hard time seeing old, old people not just being like, yeah, come here. Mm. They used to, I used to go to the nunnery when I was little, dude. I thought about squeezing a couple of them. The nuns. Dude, I could have two at a time. <laughs> you could easily. Sister Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and just the whole time, you're like. <laughs> oh, the noises. Dude. It wouldn't be that. It'd be guttural. It'd be like, yeah. It would have been you're not that guy just like quietly going. That was also you pretty could fun. get into the nunnery and do that. Yeah, they you could get in and dude, squeeze everyone one by one. You could volunteer the acoustic guitar. Just Although like, there could be the boss nun, which is the young bull, the young bull dyke that would get you. True, but that's he, not an appropriate thing to call them. True. I know what you're talking <laughs> but, about. You know, the I mean, young bull. Yeah, there's a big one in there waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Although a lot of the younger ones are petite. Beautiful. We had some big dogs running around. Did you really? Yeah, we had some big units. Yeah, they tended they got to have going. large had one. teeth and crazy eyes. A lot of the old nuns had like, they looked like the, yeah. looked, you know, Bezos' new poster he's putting out for the, uh, yeah. for the motor. They look like the motorcycle, like Harley <laughs> Davidson skeletons. <laughs> they really do. They were scary. We had one that was very nice, and I like her, but they used to call her John Madden. She was huge. She might have been 6'2". She might have been 6'2". And then during a class, people would be like, boom. <laughs> like they would do John Madden things. <laughs> she had no idea. No. Imagine if they just gamed the whole time. She well, it was all just because they were they. I, that'd be sick. I'd become a nun. Yeah, it'd be awesome. I'm not. I'm not far from being a big, big unit nun. Do they? T would they take a trans? You think a trans male? That yeah, I mean, it was MTF? the nunnery was just lesbians. They were just Catholic lesbians. True. They all had like partners. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't know. Just Ours in a small community, everybody was like, "You can't be gay." You just ride you out your none. girl gayness to like you just it's you're done with it. Mm -hmm. That must be a nice day. You're like I don't think I'm. A I I kind of envy that life of like you just go to high school sporting events every year for fifty straight years. Yeah, it's where like, nice. It's basketball season. <sighs> Can't wait. Nice. It's football season. The shit rules. Damn, you're outside watching like the states. You have a blanket over your lap. Oh, you're blanket. Just... You get a hot cocoa. Oh. Being a fucking giant lesbian at a Catholic <laughs> school, it kind of fucking rules. <laughs> Any, I mean, giant lesbians, they don't need to. Yeah, but like, dude, you're so good at geometry by you're like 25. You're like, dude, ask me anything. <laughs> I know every single, I know how squares and, and triangles work. And every few it. years you get the taste box secretly. True, yeah. But Probably around Christmas a, time, I would what say. What a nice treat that must have been to taste box. A little bit of wine, box. dude. A little bit of wine. A little wine. You're at the party. Can like you believe we won states? Can you believe it? Like, I mean, oh it's God. double A, but that's still pretty good. How's, Amer how's modern American history going? Oh, 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 then use munch box. And the box must taste so nice after not tasting box for your whole. You've been depriving yourself for so long. Oh, and finally you get the sweet nectar of box. You wake up, dude. Yeah, I mean, and I, no one's policing. None. Like priests come under fire because they're controlling all yeah. the money of like a whole parish. 
as a nun, you could probably munch away pretty much, pretty much in peace. You can munch box. Yeah, I think they'll let it slide. Yeah, as a, a priest sucking dick is much more grave sin. Or getting yeah, that getting pussy. A lot, a lot of those dudes have girlfriends. Really? Yeah, dude. They must be cool. I actually like those priests. They're pretty. They are actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my bro was working. Spud man was working. I mean, how many confessions can you take before you try to fuck? If a lady came in and confessed to some wild shit, I'd, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> mash up against the screen, be like, oh, uh, just, hey, <laughs> sliding it open. <laughs> what? Sorry, let me just get an image of you. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, that's uh, how long do you think you would last if you were just to completely forget the world <laughs> and then have to like just. I guess priest around before you just got be into like some crazy shit. Uh, Completely forgo all of your strivings and just like I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna. If I obviously you're a man of God. If I tomorrow became a priest. Yeah. How long before I got fucking shit housed at the fucking <laughs> monastery or whatever? It'd be so fast. I'd get those dudes booze too. Some of them booze, yeah, dude. Yeah. Father Flynn, he dude. You'd I didn't know what up. I didn't know what alcohol smelled like. Like, you know when like, it comes off of people's pores? Yeah. He just smelled like that. And later on, I was like, oh, dude, that guy was a big time alcoholic. Yeah. He was I mean, a nice dude. He was a nice dude. That's forgivable, too. If you're a priest, you're sitting there, you just got to get hammered nightly. Oh, yeah. And they get to go to the high school football games, dude. dude. <laughs> Being a priest. And you get to give a fucking pump up prayer. You ever have that? I'd have to get a couple in me for that. We had priests give us pump up prayers. I've seen them do it, yeah. They're like, Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. And they'd give you like a biblical thing about smiting your enemies Jesus before Christ. the big game in the locker room. Oh. Pretty tight. Go that would home. fire me just up. Nobody's just some awake. Guy, just a shit housed priest being like, dude, <laughs> fucking send these motherfuckers to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on Pornhub later that night. You're like, yeah, I'm, forgive me for, for I'm not perfect, dude. I'm yeah, not perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a crazy life, man. Especially the dudes who are doing it seriously, dude. The guys who are on like a, a pure thing of like, I'm yeah. going to completely get salvation for my soul. Fuck, that's hard. Huh? <laughs> All right, <laughs> on this couch. <laughs> oh, okay, got there's him. a retarded kid from my high school named Doug who was like all in on priesthood. Like he was like, once I graduate, I'm becoming a priest and I'm going to be the fucking man. Nice. Did he? And he did. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's good. Sorry. Why is he retarded? Because he's actually like a retarded <laughs> man. Oh, really? I don't. Know. I think he kind of like is pretend priesting, and they kind of damn. Like, that'd be nice to get confession a from a retarded guy. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna need you to sing three baby sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Fire department is probably relieved. They're like, thank God. What do you mean? Our roster's full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you either volunteer firefighter. It's crazy when retarded guys opt to the priesthood, dude. <laughs> Otherwise, you just sit with a Dalmatian all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big firefighter. The firefighter's like, God damn, thank God. No, nah, they need. They do need special needs guys to volunteer to feed the Dalmatians. For sure. That's what they do. For sure. That's a sick gig, too. They're great boys, dude. That's a I, good dude, gig. Dude, I was at a... Where the hell? I was at a grocery store in Atlanta, and their greeter was retarded. Yeah, it was the best man. Because usually yeah. you get like you get some dude in there who's like, "Oh, I'm fucking, I hate this job." This dude came in and was like, it was an absolutely enlivening greeting. I was just yeah. like, "Fuck, man, how you great day?" Yes. For, you know, it was fantastic. Rather than like, I've walked through Walmart sometimes, and it's just like I, I swear to God, I've like walked past ladies where like I think if I looked them in the eye, I'd turn to stone. <laughs> you walk by them, they're, the just, Walmart like, they're just staring all the way down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walmart Medusa. They're, just, they're just like staring through the cinder blocks, just thinking about their life. And you're like, all right, I'm going to just avoid this person. Oh, uh, it's a tough one. Brutal, they, I dude. can't believe they still have greeters. They have them, yeah. They have the security detail. It's a funny thing to call retarded people. <laughs> <laughs> I used to walk by, dude, I, back when I would steal from Walmart when I was a checkout thief. I would do it so brazenly because I would look at them and be like, this guy is somewhere else right now. Like yeah. literally they're somewhere, they hate their job so much that they're mentally elsewhere. And I would just like put stuff in a bag and look at them. Like they're not even looking and I'd walk past them. Like Here, yeah. here's my receipt they? with literally one thing on it. And I have yeah. four bags and I'd be like, here you go. And they would just go. <sighs> Dude, I told you I went to that uh, mentally handicapped movie theater. And we'll slide that over. Please bring that up. There's no product like Lucy Breakers, the only nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. Lucy Breakers tiny capsules break open to unleash a burst of flavors like mint, mango, berry, and more. Gas or get a stronger and longer lasting flavor in those gas station brands. 
What the hell? All right. Oh, then those gas station brands. My bad. Can we do it over? <laughs> Thank you. No, nah, leave it. <laughs> Can we do it over? <laughs> You're like a little kid. You're like, oh. Why do you like the Lucy Pouch? What flavor do you like? I like mango. Ooh. Because I'm a bit of a tropical man. There we go. Save yourself a trip to the gas station or corner store to get your nicotine. Subscribe online so you always got a box ready to go and save 15%. Get 10% off your first order on Lucy.co when you use our promo code drenched at checkout. Shipping is always free. That's Lucy.co promo code drenched to receive $10 off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Now let's get back to the show. So what else is going on, brother? Nothing. Just chilling. Yeah, just. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a holiday episode. A holiday episode. Jesus dude. What do you Christ. guys think? I've just been laying at home eating cookies. The week between, you know, Christmas and the New Year's. The doldrums. Yo, these guys. Yo, dude. It looks like a, no wonder you like this. It looks like a fucking horse, dude. Thumbs down on the bet. Like oh, I've seen these guys. That thing looks crazy. Yeah, I think it's pretty tight. It's true. It's a real animal. Snopes had to look it up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good bet. See, the bats are freezing down in Texas way. Are they really? Yeah, they're dropping. Was it is Texas out. super chilly? Yeah, Texas got a little chilly too. Really? Because the winter storms? Hack it. Yeah. That's not good. They'll be back. I feel like those guys will they'll never be, go away. They'll, be, they'll come back. It sucks for them. Yeah, are we getting, uh, are we getting chilly? What's going on here? Everything's cold. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the weather? The weather keeps getting cold. It's <laughs> so cold right now. I, I will say, again, every year you forget. Every year I forget oh, how dude. shitty the winter is. It sucks, bro. It's dark. It's never, the sun's never up. It's always fucking dusk. Yeah. Or dawn. It's dawn the whole morning. Sucks. I'm in the depths. This is my depths. Although I will say this is my most gleeful winter yet. Usually I get real. Really? By my birthday, dude, I'm staring at a cake just like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude? Man, I don't even know how old I am. I'm so excited for summertime. Oh, bro. I can't fucking wait. What are you going to do? Just I I literally, once, once the sun starts getting warm, I lay outside and just soak yeah. it all up. Like when the sun first breaks on that first warm day, this has been first the last. First warm day does rule. Dude, I literally go upstairs. I obviously have a roof deck, not bragging. And I lay up on it and I just sit there for as long as I can take it and just let the sun scorch me. Mm. Let the sun have its fucking way with me, dude. Yes. Apollo, I've been sweet Apollo. Apollo, I've been missing you so mm. much. Oh. You know what I also like? I do like the first cold day. Mm, yeah. First time it's a little brisk in the morning when you yeah. know it's football time and the fall's coming. Yeah. Here come the Irish. They're going to look so good this year. Dude. I do I do like that first day yeah. of a sweater. Yeah, that's Notre true. Notre Dame might be getting a honk at quarterback, dude. Uh -huh. I want you to take a look, dude. A new one? Yeah, well, there could be a honk coming in. We got a honk coach. Yeah. A dreamboat of a coach. <laughs> Just say it's more of a dreamboat, but yeah. We might have a honk quarterback coming in. <sighs> Hartman. Jeez. Hartman transferring from Wake Forest. Hopefully he transfers. Wait, dude, when you see this boy. Really? You're going to say, can you imagine him? Isn't, him? Your, isn't your quarterback pretty hot right now? No. Really? He also transferred. He left? Hartman from Wake Forest? That's a honk, dude. That's a honk. Ooh, okay. hubba, can hubba. you uh, hold him up to me? Hubba Hubba's right, Fruit Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say. Oh, my God. Can you imagine him in his golden helmet? Dude. Oh my god, can you imagine? Yo, dude. You see him with the thick beard? He's fucking jacked, too. Oh my god, If he doesn't dude. come to Notre Dame, I'm going to be... He's a fucking model. I'm going to be so sad. Oh my god, dude. I mean, what do you think... What kind of power do you think that guy would get on you? <laughs> if he thrust it into me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if this college boy... Do you think he'd be... Honestly, do you think he'd be a little bit sensitive, or do you think he'd be... Which you call it? Do you think he'd just <laughs> slam it in? I think... I mean, he looks kind of like a party boy. That's what I I'm think saying. he might slam it in me. I think head coach Marcus Freeman would be a little more Play some respectful. shot A for you. Look at this, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. What's he doing? It's crazy. He looks like a fucking gladiator. He does. He looks like Crixus, the gladiator. But he still has fun on the field. He rolls his jersey up so you can see his belly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> if I could get my hands on the new quarterback at Notre Dame, Hartman, Sam Hartman. Please transfer Sam Hartman. Yeah, that'd be tight. Please oh transfer. Gosh. But if he's bad, I'm going to be on first. Nothing worse than a pretty boy that's not good. 
Yeah, you true. Go, Why don't you stop worrying about your looks? I'll be honest. About the I'll goddamn be honest. Game. Ass, I'll be yeah. honest. I'll tweet at him. You should. I say you fucking fine ass freak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was your big ass dick throw off your swing, yeah. dude? When you're throwing the ball, bitch. Psst. Come on, dude. Give me an ugly guy. Just launching it. I'm not, I don't think who's I've the ever... ugliest quarterback ever. I feel like the, has good. there been any like, who have been like a complete? <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple of messes. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Trent was... Dilfer wasn't the hottest dude. <laughs> uh, what? Carson Wentz. Yeah. Uh, you guys are being hard on him. What the hell are you talking about, Carson Wentz? I thought he was fucking... Carson Wentz isn't the worst. Yeah, dude. Andrew Luck wasn't that handsome. Dude. Andy Dalton? No, Andy Dalton's handsome. No chance. Why? Because he has red hair? Don't be mean to the fruit <laughs> bat. The sweet <laughs> Gardini. Dude, what are you talking about? Carson Wentz is... Carson Wentz is guy. handsome, dude. He looks he like an American hero. He looks like a hero. That's like a troop, dude. It's like the heat miser. Who's the heat miser? From uh, Rudolph? You ever see him? No. That's what Andy Dalton looks like. I can't Andy think Dalton, that's nah, not he's a handsome guy. devil. You're out I've, of your mind. I've never seen a QB who he's a fine you know, white boy. I wouldn't go. I've seen Sam Bradford with. take some rough pictures. He's got a, sometimes he looks cross eyed. Really? Um <laughs> people give Eli Manning a hard time. Oh yeah, the Mannings the Mannings aren't the most handsome. I gentlemen. like those boys. Peyton, they have a distinct look that uh Peyton's a fucking they strong play the tall game. guy. Boy, they could play the game. These guys all look the same now that I'm getting into it. It's like it's Eli type. Manning looks exactly like Carson Wentz. <laughs> they, I might, they, they might have they clones. Just wearing a helmet? <laughs> they might have clones out here. I think they are clones. <laughs> they could be cloning. Learners. They could be. Who? I'm trying to think. I can't think of any other quarterbacks. Joe Montana was obviously a honk. Montana. I mean, that's Joe Cool. Uh, was Dan Marino? Didn't Dan Marino? Dan Marino was a bit of a honk, dude. He's an Italian Pittsburgh honk, dude. Damn, Dan Marino's hot as hell. Fuck, dude. Who fucks ugly. There's nobody. There's no ugly quarterbacks. Joe Burrow's a hunk. Boy, that's the finest white boy I've ever That's a fine ass white boy. <laughs> who was the quarterback for the Buccaneers? I uh, said Trent Dilfer. Is that who that was? There's, Dilfer is the Buccaneers. Trent Dilfer, as he got older, got a little rough looking. Yeah. Let me see. No, nah, he looks. Boy. When he's playing, he's. Yeah, Trent Dilfer's looking all right. He's a fine man. I don't <laughs> Honestly, if this dude pulled up on a construction site and some like tight wranglers, people are like, damn, that guy gets Dilfer? Closer. Yeah. Matt Ryan's not. Ugly though. He's goofy looking. Nah, there's dude. There's not. A, I I think we've stumbled upon. I don't think there's an ugly quarterback. It's a handsome position. That's what I'm saying. For sure. They're the superstars. Yeah, I mean, mm. yeah. Again, Matt Ryan, oh, dude. If this guy oh, was selling you insurance, shit. dude, you'd have to keep one arm on your wife's wrist at all times. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried. I t- this is like a this is like a gorgeous man in an office. This guy was in an office setting. He'd be a gorgeous man. Oh yeah. That must be tight, being a hot man in an office. Who's Jeff Saturday? Yeah, he's the coach of the Colts now. He played center for the Colts. He's not that bad looking. Nah, these what, guys are all pretty What is hot. happening, dude? What? Why are they all handsome? I don't you know. know. He's actually kind of fucking ugly, Patrick Mahomes. You think so? True, he's got a bit of a Muppet look to him. That was the guy. Who who did he play for? You can find hot pictures, he's obviously. He's right now. Gotta, you think he put on a headband, headband and fool us? Like, damn, it's actually yeah, kind of he's kind of head. fucking rough looking. That's the first picture that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> he's squinting in the sun, dude. Well, that's fine. He's squinting in the sun. He looks like an athletic 11-year-old. He does look Chill. like a little tiny boy. Which Ooh, what's his name? In the pantsuit uh, from Arizona. Dude, Patrick Mahomes looks what's like Elijah little, Wood. Little he looks guy. like Elijah Wood. Oklahoma. Kyler Murray. Is uh, he? Hold on. Dude, you're telling me. Look at that, dude. That's I'm portrait mode on the iPhone. That's a nice picture, dude. Doesn't he, he, doesn't he kind of look Ooh, like Elijah? I, I might be right. What? Kyler Murray is not that attractive. Who's that? The guy who wore the pantsuit. What's his name? Kyler Murray. You're just not attracted to black guys. No, that's not true, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not sexually attracted to black guys. Patrick men, Mahomes dude. is not. Come on, dude. <laughs> dude. He's a red don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I don't like about First off, look at him. Kyler. <laughs> He's got a flat head, dude. He's, yeah, yeah. He's a hammerhead. He's hot as hell. Motherfucking flat head. Hammerhead. Hammerhead ass. ass bat. <laughs> dude, I'm not wrong. Kyler Murray's that's the ugliest one so far. So far. How is he? How I don't is think he I don't think African American quarterbacks are ugly. That's not true. I didn't say you thought. I think that. Jalen Hurts is attractive. I think Michael Vick was attractive. Oh, bad boy like that. Oh, let me see Michael Vick. 
That's Michael true. Vick was a bit of a hunk, dude. dude I like your his sexual look. preferences. Your sexual preferences. You don't. You know what I mean? I let Dante Culpepper get it. Cole big Pep? dog, big dog, getting after it. Kind of yeah. thick tie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Found out. I taped a special this weekend, and oh, you ter- did. Turns out alcohol might help. Really? <laughs> yeah. The first show, I was like, I got to go into this sharp, sober, yeah. average, average show. In between sets, I was like, I'm gonna kill. Give me those beers. Dude, yeah. You didn't really drink that much, though, did you? No, not like a lot, but like, you know, four yeah. or five. Grease the wheels. Yeah. You had four or five before the second show? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's 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 not not a lot. Like, that's, that's not a lot. That's not chilling. <laughs> like, four or five Bud Lights. Four or five Bud Lights. Over the course of two hours. Yeah. Okay. That's nothing. But most, like, but yeah, this is a different thing. Like, you are coming to the realization that this is fuel for you like this this helps i did it I, most so, people would be like oh you're doing five beers before your second yeah, taping yeah, yeah. so you want to sabotage yeah you know? dude, I, yeah i can't i can have one drink this, I, it does loosen you up i, I tried it. and it was well, awesome we talked about it before i tried i did a weekend in tacoma and i was like i'm just i gotta not drink yeah so i was like i had zero alcohol the whole weekend and every single show i was like this sucks i suck and then the saturday late show i was like I'm gonna have a couple beers before, this, and I just destroyed it. What do you think like, it is? Fuck. What do you think it is? Did that just puts you in a different headspace? Yeah, I think so. Just more relaxed, more yeah. yeah. And what? Uh, so it was awesome. I second? mean, I could probably get used to not drinking. Right. Yeah, you do. You yeah. do get used to it. I prefer it now. So I am yeah. a little bit sharper, but now it's like if I do have one drink, I do relax a little. It's like a. Yeah. I save it for the very last show of the weekend. I'll have a drink while I'm on stage, and it's like. Because if I have a drink and I have not a good set, I just turn on myself. I'm like, dude, yeah. drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you drunk. <laughs> you drunk. I drink like six drinks a month. You fucking drunk piece like of shit. you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a loser. Wait, yeah. So the second one went great? Yeah. Where did you tape? At Tyson's Hall. Or no, Tyson's Virginia. Tyson, yeah. Capital One Hall. It's a new theater there. Nice. It's very nice. That was the, the set, though. It was on. That was yeah. undeniable. Also, it was, it was less the alcohol, more I've never taped a special. Yeah. So that having a fucking camera floating around yeah the first show i was like i'll just, just stare i'd tell a joke and be like <laughs> yeah. just straight just into a camera. It. yeah i was like you guys see that <laughs> but you're super happy now with the second one uh i'm happy with it but yeah. then i i don't watch myself do stand-up yeah so then i watch it i'm getting clips and shit i'm like jesus fucking christ really yeah, Dude, I, mean, it looks I can't great. get enough of myself. I watch really? it. I'm like, man, you're. Are you great. serious? I don't you're, know why. I know. He something was, flipped. Something flipped. He was showing me, me. Yeah, you were showing I'm me like, clips. I love it. Yeah, you were showing me clips of your <laughs> shit, and I was like. He was watching it like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, dude, really? I'm sick. If I, don't I know what's see myself, it. I'm like, that's been a recent development. Now I'm kind of like, yeah. that looks great. It does that's, look great. It's weird. It does look great. I I, I swear to God, I yeah. want to be like, ah, oh, fuck, it sucks. But I'm watching. I'm like. It's yeah, so funny. Dude, is, I forgot I did that. <laughs> this guy's so good. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> it's gross, dude. I wouldn't yeah. watch. I wouldn't watch the line cut. Yeah. For months, and then they go, "You have to give us notes." Yeah. Like, yeah. We have to get the. And then I sent in one set of notes, and then they give you the second cut, and they're like, "We need this one." And scrap it. Yeah. And how do you like it now? Yeah. I was like, I go. They go, "Have you watched it?" And I was like, "No, I don't want to watch it." Yeah. And they're like, "Well, they go, we're gonna actually." like miss the release date if we don't turn this in in like a week and so i i like i wish i shot in november dude and i was giving oh geez i was giving notes in like late may to get this thing ready yeah for <laughs> July, like, and they were like yeah. come on i was like in the mirror i was like i don't want to watch this yeah. Uh, yeah yeah it does suck i there's parts of it where I, you start going like i did it because i would be like ah i shouldn't have filmed this i'm a fucking idiot and then like i'll have that and i'll be like it gets better towards the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough stuff. Did you shoot yours recently too? <laughs> yeah. Where did yeah. you shoot yours? Helium, Philly. Oh, uh, that's a great one. Yeah, that's fun. He, yeah, it, the first, I filmed a YouTube special and I watched it. <clears throat> that first, was great. I watched dude. it. Oh, thank you. That's great. I watched yeah. it by myself and I was like, this is a fucking disaster. <laughs> really? Like, this is the dumbest piece of shit. I look terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. It's so good, though. And then I watched it with someone else and they laughed. Yeah. While they were laughing, I was like, yeah, it's I, good. I fucking played it for the mayor and no on the way home. They didn't fucking even they didn't even laugh. <laughs> yeah, I was I? like, hey, guys, I'm going to rewind that part. That was actually <laughs> God, going Did on, you guys. hear that part? Did you get the nuance? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> well, that's yeah. You can't put it on with those two. Matt, no, uh, I was Tom. Didn't you film your special in Philly Helium, too? No, uh, the no. Cornrows one. Which one? White girls with cornrows. Oh, 
Fuck, where did I? No, I recorded. <laughs> that's funny reference. Yeah. Sorry, I recorded that yeah. in. Uh... They have it up at Helium. That's why I asked. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they keep they they ask for albums from from people who play the club. I recorded yeah. I recorded it in uh, in Denver. I remember that I recorded at in Denver Comedy Works at the South Club, and the oh. reason I did it at the South Club because they wouldn't give me a week downtown. Oh. Really? Yeah, I had done it already, so yeah. I was like, "Oh, can I come back and do another?" I was like, "It's it's the yeah, magic yeah, yeah. room," and they were like, "No, <laughs> you can do it at the other club." Because I couldn't, yeah. I just couldn't get the booking. You know? Yeah, no one gives a fuck when you're trying to film a special. Well, yeah. it was. I was trying thing. so hard. They I was don't like, care where? if you're not. I wasn't a big ticket seller yeah. when I did it, so they were like, "No." Yeah, and then as soon as you sell tickets, they're like, "Oh yeah, we can make, we yeah, can, we'll bump everybody." Well, yeah, we'll just yeah. cancel people, yeah. and you're like, "Oh, that's how this works." Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they offered me that this time, and I was like, "No, I'm not." Yeah, yeah, I have a tour. Just pick one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Funny yeah, the first works. time I was trying, I was trying very hard to get a place. And everyone was like, "You can do a Wednesday yeah. here." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, no, no, I need, I need <laughs> yeah. an audience. Yeah, yeah. Creek anyway. was a nice Creek was a nice spot for it. Though. Creek was great. I was yeah. I was happy with that. Yeah, yeah, that special's so good, man. Thanks. I was just talking about how like you can tell when you watch. I think uh, every time I watch specials, and like I first of all finish it. Yeah. Or I think I even at the fifteen minute mark, like I remember watching first time I watched Bert's first special, the Secret Time one. Yeah. I call because they gave me an advance screening on because I was going to do a podcast. I go, you sent it to me, and Netflix sent it to me. I was like, you're definitely gonna do theaters next. He was like, really? I go, absolutely, because yeah. it was it was really good. Nate Bargatze's first one, I paused it and I te- I go, you clear your schedule. Like, yeah. this is really really good. And I thought yours was like that too. That was you. really and, and it and it did have that effect. Yeah. Like, it's totally changed your touring life. Um, let's change to you. Oh, okay. Instead of I will say I did watch I never watched specials and I was yeah. like, let me see what they're like. And I was watching yours. I'm like, God, this was fucking good. I was like, turn it back good. on, like watching it now. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I watched uh I watched Sledgehammer last night. Oh, thanks. And it was I don't watch specials. Mm. Or I do, but I turn you know, you turn you them turn off. off yeah. you turn them off. Yeah. I was laying right there. I haven't laughed out loud at a special in a very i was by myself at like midnight <laughs> laying right here like ah! <laughs> 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 the the closer made me oh thanks i was man. dying dude thank you thank you yeah that was that was really fucking good man it is the best to hear i mean people can tell you that they like it but when other comics tell you they like it yeah. there's no comparison yeah. it is the best yeah it's a nice feeling and yeah. uh and the round filming it there it was yeah it was cool. I thought it looked awesome. It, I thought, dude, it, I deserve no credit. But when I I did want to do it in the round because I was I was like, it's a fun, different thing. I yeah. done I done the round in a couple arenas, and then there's only a couple theaters left that yeah. have the round. One's in Long Island. Yeah, I forget the name of that one. Um, it's a it's an old theater, and it's the Paramount. Yeah. I think it's Maybe. the Paramount. Paramount, I didn't do it. It's in the round. How and do you so, do it? You just slowly rotate? Like- dude, I did the I did that theater with Bert. The celebrity? Yes. Yeah. And I first I never did a round. Yeah. I stood still <laughs> and rotated. It's very common. And my feet when the cord was around my feet at yeah. one point. Yeah. I was doing a fifteen minute set. Yeah. And I got in a circle. <laughs> yeah. And then Half half my act is most of it's dumb facial expression. It's like yeah. a slow dance. So dude. you make a facial expression and only a third of the room sees it. Yeah. And then I turn around. I turn around and be like, you give it to the, <laughs> do, do it to the other yeah. side. Yeah. Okay, just to show yeah. you guys what you missed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did not like it. I was not used to it. But yeah. it's so, it's so funny. cool. Looking. It is. It fucking. They did a killer job of of the set. Oh. I thought yeah. it was actually the like when I went out for the because you arrive early on on yeah. tapings. I walked into that room and I was like, holy shit. And they go, oh, this isn't even like done. They're yeah. like, kill the. And they showed me. I was like, this is the yeah, coolest the looking coming down. Was it was cool. It was I fucking rad. Tight. Yeah, it looks cool, man. It yeah. looks really good. Um, yeah, they killed it. That's the John Irwin produced it. He's the he's the fucking man. So he, yeah, he made it look good. And um, I taped four. Really? I taped four and I'd never done that. And everybody I who had done it was like, you got to do it. You got to do it. And, you know, your experience is what I've always experienced in tapings, which is like you do show one and you're like, all right, like we got one. Mm-hmm. But like show t- and show yeah. two is always what I use. We tape four fucking shows 
And we used show one. My man did I sick. Out, yeah. My man did sick. I, just, I was like, my man did sick. <laughs> I had the whole six? weekend. I had six shows, so I was like, just film all of them. Wow. <laughs> just in case, if Wait, I miss you, one, I'll be pissed. Are you? Have you gotten to the edit yet? Are you ready? Yeah, we did. We ended up using mostly two of them. Yeah. So. Dude, I used show one. I've never done that before. And I really? used the whole. The, that's it. That's kind of tight. The oh, Austin four. one, I did show one. Yeah. But I had done. I did Friday. I was trying. Welcome to speed dating. Each of you is going to meet for about three minutes. Then you're going to hear this buzzer. Okay. And when that goes off, we're going to move to the next table. Ready to find some love? Tana. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I was asked to speak at this hotel. It turns out there's some type of pussy banquet going on. Can you hold one second? Just give me a second. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit, ugly, fat, orange, fuck. Social media. They had to take it away. I was too good. In fact, go ahead, put it back up. Put it back up. People say I've got bad makeup. Tana looks like someone painted her face like a clown. That's what we're going to call her. Tana, it the clown. She looks like him. She looks like she should be in a sewer bothering children. You are utterly disgusting. I'm disgusting. I saw you walk in, I said, who's this? She, is this a pig? I didn't know they were letting pigs in. You're a dictator. Old sage, what a loser. What a loser she was. Somebody needs to tell her that her pussy stinks. When you walked in, I could practically smell you. Your vagina stinks. Smell you know up the whole room. No one here is gonna go on a date with you. There'll be no problem there. I'll get a date. You There's gonna be so many dates, people. Whoa, this guy has so many dates. You? None. I don't even need a date, but I'll get a date if I want a date. You can go on Tinder. Have you heard of this? There's a Tinder. You go beep boop pop and there's pussy. This is pretty exciting. I've never been on a date with a white guy before. Hit the buzzer. I mean, I'm just wondering what it would be like with something a little smaller. Let me stop you there, Elaine. I don't know who sat in this chair before me, but it stinks. I told her! <clears throat> Any interest? You're gay. Hey, blame the dairy industry. I would never suck a guy's dick. But if I did, it'd be one of the best sucks he's ever had. A few years ago, women would have the flat butts. Not you, you've got a very nice one. Thank you. You know, I did, I polled very well with the blacks. How am I polling with you? I saw you come in, I said, that's the one. The bell of the ball. You're the prettiest one. I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. I'm not that interested in You're the all. ugliest. Do me a favor, could you take your gigantic perfect tits and leave? I don't recall saying I would get a date here, but if I did say that, maybe I will. Oh my God. Hello. Oh my God. Do you like my shirt? I got to die to the special, the tackle shop. There's a two for one at the tackle, at the tackle shop, the bait and tackle. I can get you one, it's two for one. Wow. How are you, Mr. President? Well, I'm great, especially since you, since you exposed all the, all the Jews that were putting 5G in my brain that wanted the meth. How are you at oral sex? Pretty good, to be honest. My teeth come out. Siobhan, how would you like to go on a date with Donald Trump? Yes, finally. Oh my God, I won. Did I win? I got head. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. That was a funny one. That, that was Florentine. Some, I remember. Uh, on there. Gomez did great. He Gomez did great. Well, yeah. Zach Amico did great. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It's so funny. It's and a well-known thing. Use writers, and then it's embarrassing to say use writers. Real fat Bobby. <laughs> Real fat, fat Bobby. Bobby. The height, almost the height of. Bobby's fatness, yeah, that, or know. the width of it. I mean, that shit was wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got it. They went hard. It was great. That was pre Keith Stroke. <laughs> no, it was right after. Ah, it was right after the whole time they were just making fun of him for having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> His new stroke material is killer. He's the best. He got on Netflix. I heard. I hope he has. That's that, gonna be. That's gonna be killer. He's got that bit about. Uh, he's like, it's weird. I I like to make fun of retarded people, yes. and I always see him and laugh, and then. I'm like, I look in the mirror and I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's like, now I can't do it. I, I butchered that, but it's yeah. funny. 
That's a good one. To, that's that's fun to follow Keith with new material. <laughs> He just goes and kills with a black disabled guy murdering. Come on. And they're like, all right, uh, what do you guys think about high school football? Uh, <laughs> like, oh, I saw Voss, Voss was hosting once at the old stand right after Keith had the stroke and he followed him and comes in with his, with his you know, and with his right hand all fucked up and he's trying. And he goes, you know how hard it is, Hollywood? They audition Keith. This crazy thing happened to him and they auditioned him for this role of a man with had a heart attack and one arm doesn't work. And he's like studied. He fucking nailed the role, and they go, "Sorry, we need a guy with a left hand. Doesn't work." <laughs> <laughs> At the Patrice benefit this year, they played uh, the fucking Jeopardy music for his when he walked on stage because it took him so long. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's yeah, great. He's like, Voss introduced him. He was like, "This is probably next year's benefit. Make some noise, <laughs> <Keith> <laughs> Robinson." <laughs> yeah, they did an O and A when he died, when Patrice died, and it was like all these sad, you know, it's, it's sad. It was just all these stories yeah. about how much they loved him. How, and then there was a weird, somber moment at the end. And David Tell goes, "Guys, you got to donate because we got to buy a giant purple suit." So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was great. Yeah. Or a purple coffin. Fuck. Yeah. I think I fucked it up. Yeah. yeah. Works both ways. All right. I can't get life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they think you get life insurance to make more money on the road? That doesn't make any sense. Because they want to know. You're, they're going to either get their money back through the insurance. Yes. Or this. Yes. There you go. Get their money back. They fronted you. They look. If yes. he dies. Yeah. If he dies. The advance is pretty big. The insurance will cover the what they. Yeah. You, you don't think your mom's going to be like, the fuck, AG? <laughs> it's my money. No, the mom's no. going to keep the advance. Yeah, 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 yeah. The business will get refunded through insurance oh. for his death, for there what they were owed in the future on the what they paid. Nice. What's your life insurance right? policy? Am I explaining this? I don't know. I got the Does bare minimum. Put a mark but... on you? Yeah, you can't. You got to wait Wife's a year. Try to have you out. Oh, we are before anybody can kill you. Wait. No, I'm saying if you don't get it. I'm glad you guys are fucking re retarded with this shit, yeah, too, because I, I don't so know stupid. one thing. Life, taxes, isn't life insurance? Like taxes, taxes I have no idea. Forget about Last it. Last year, I got a phone call from my lady, and she was like, all right, this is what you owe. I was like, well, I'm ruined. I, yes. I had no years. idea. What are you talking about? I know. You can make up anything. I made all that. What do you yeah. mean? It's like, that's all I have. I know. <laughs> that was everything. That's I didn't New know. York. They fuck you. Yeah, I'm paying yeah, retail taxes. for White Claws. Let's go, Texas. <laughs> I did the math on moving to Texas, like how much I would have saved, and it was quite hefty oh. yeah it's it was a, worth living in texas yeah it's it's like people's I'm career going to, goals i'm going to delaware <laughs> same benefits and none of the fun <laughs> i don't know is Delaware is Del i don't think delaware is no state income no, no it's just tax. no sales tax oh really it's no that sales philly tax. has oh, that or I, pennsylvania I so much <laughs> yeah, delaware. you're gonna go to delaware right into the research oh, fuck i got a house uh, in wilmington fuck. just outside wilmington texas yeah. is florida i think texas florida, florida tennessee, tennessee. Philly? I mean, I have no, Pennsylvania. No, no, no. Pennsylvania. You go to like, Alaska, they pay you to live there. I'm bad. Pennsylvania's good, though. It's like 7%. Okay. okay. New York's like 13, I think, or 14. All right. You should the, know all this. The, I do. Oh, New York City's a lot. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. The city's a lot. The, uh, uh, what's it called, tax? The uh, home tax is way lower in California than Texas. Texas property? Property tax is way Property tax in Austin shocking. is a lot. That's shocking. That's how, well, that's where they, that's how they get it. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's why I'm in a, a lot more freedoms rent. in Austin, except smoking weed. Weed in a park. is where they draw the line. And abortions. Yeah. Abortions. Abortions, they're all right. <laughs> I've never had one. What? <laughs> I've paid for a bunch. Oh, I see. <laughs> I've just never, it's not, it's not my deal. Yeah. I've never paid for one. Really? really? Nice, bro. Make them pay. She pay. She pay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. I used the wrong hand. There my bad. <laughs> she paid. <laughs> Woo, feminism. <laughs> feminism means paying for an abortion by yourself. Yeah, the migrants. What else is going what on? What else is going what on, boys? Sorry, on? sorry, uh, sorry. Maui, sorry I, brought you here. I really uh I really didn't plan on doing a podcast and then I realized Matt was gone and You needed to do one? Half I should, yeah. I'm driving Hell force yeah. behind this podcast. <laughs> I should do one. Yeah. No, usually it's Matt just sitting there telling me a random fucking thing. We didn't bring yeah, anything in. Yeah, he's know. good at it. Well, we had oh, a good time with oh, the rest of the random things you guys have. Don't you guys have any oh, random things? Oh, I did a second. I, I went told to you a, a dead guy. Look, that was a really good <laughs> one. <laughs> it up a little. Guy fucking died. That was really good. I went to a sex club in Berlin. Hey, it's the best. Yeah, How the best. How fun is it? The yeah. best. Favorite city what, in the what world. What happens? It's Your insane. Your favorite city is Berlin? Yeah. Interesting. They do. I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Um, uh, 
They do nightclubs right. Yeah, like they all sure the bullshit do. we do with the no DJ and the inch, 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 with the lights and the disco with the ball with the uh, glow stick. It's all bullshit. This you walk into this. It's basically like an apartment complex. Mm-hmm. There's a swimming pool inside. There's a hot girl doing a rope over the pool. Oh, I never there's, watched that one. There's a midget running around naked, jerking off. There's a naked yep. guy in a wheelchair. There's a there's nothing but hot women there wearing nothing but like a chain here and there. And there's a tango room. There's a techno room. There's a room just with people getting hurt, like a dominatrix is whipping a guy or a lady's getting wax poured on her. It's insane. It's a feast for the senses. <laughs> it really is. And you, people were fucking in front of you? Everybody's fucking. There's couches everywhere. There's, you just walk by like, oh, that's I doggy saw, style. I saw one. It, somebody st- on her knees, guy standing up. Just fucking going. But by then, I'd been there for an hour, so I was just like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It starts to <laughs> gel like it three hours in. Fun. You see fat guys just dancing with nothing except yes. socks and shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, wow. Next to a supermodel dancing also. Totally. With There's their tits out. Bars that's everywhere. Great. Each bar Dude, is a bar different t- theme. I saw a bartender with like, a, with like an apron on, and he's like, all right, here you go, here you go. And then he turns around and just butts his ass. Out. Yeah. yeah. Like, you no. I saw a lady get fucked in the ass right next what? to me. Yeah. She, wow. It was crazy. Wow. You smell it. It's going to smell a little, right? I didn't notice. That's nice. They're going ready. It was wild. And so. What drugs did you do? I just did shrooms because I didn't want to. Jesus. I didn't want to push it. But that was a mistake because yeah. it's so much to see and so take much. in that I. Yeah, that shrooms intense. Kind of threw me off. But I was drinking a lot. But, uh, so eventually you're in there for like seven hours because you just start forget you lose track. There's no clocks, no windows, no nothing. Pay the cover charge. Pay the cover, so and I'll never be work. there again. So I go, hey lady, we got a we got a bang in here, and she was like, oh yeah, I guess we should. Uh, crazy that I got hard. It's in public. It's all in public. And uh, what the fuck? Where'd you dude? go? Dark room or, or <laughs> just the or techno just... room had a little dark room, like a landing. Yeah. And uh, there was people like laying on couches, you know, some people like tripping out, making out, (laughs) shaking. (laughs) And so I was like, let's go over here. I put her on a table and we start plowing. And uh, the guy, this guy taps me on the (gasps) shoulder and I was like, "Uh oh, we're probably in trouble. Maybe I'm in the wrong room or something because I'm fucking in public. Yeah, that's fair. You'd be like, it's I'm probably going to fault. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. It's It's not like what? And he's this big guy wearing a wife beater and he goes. Me next, me next in a German accent. And I was like, ah, get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. But but he's not, that's not weird. Right. You yeah. know, he's in the right. And I was like, no, no, get out of here. And I kind of shake him off. But now I'm a little rattled by that. I'm like, you should let him go public. next. I should have. Yeah. yeah I he was big. Right. Like DeRosa. <laughs> this is weird, dude. It was weird, but it's super wow. fucked up. You and, have to fuck in there when but, you fuck. Yeah. When in Rome, you start to adapt. I would, I would never. You could do it. <laughs> I would never. You could do it. What's the craziest place you fucked a girlfriend or anybody? Uh, that's, Mon- that's up there. That's very public. Uh, Monsters Inc. The movie? Yes. <laughs> in the theater. I, I fucked in Clerks too. Hey! <laughs> that's the best thing during that movie. That movie stunk. I, uh, Beach. That was it. Beach. I did it on Subway once. Ocean. That was pretty disgusting. That doesn't work. It no. doesn't work. Too salty. Sand, sand yeah. in places. Wait, wait. Subway? Subway. Come this, back from Coney Island. Sandwich shop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was a torrential rainstorm. We're like, fuck it. We got to the subway. No one was on our car. The car oh, next to us. That's cars. awesome. We both looked at each other. We're like, yeah. A little D train. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. I think it was. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's it does awesome. Go to Coney yeah, Island. it was pretty awesome. And you, you, what did you do at the stops? You stop and you're like, come on, nobody get on, nobody get on. It was that, exactly that. Oh, it was like, we got like, the idea yes. that the stop shoes blowing me. And then it was like, stop. We're like, come on. There's still nobody in that one. And then we we're like, towards that one, somebody might have come on the far one, but like, let's just go. And then we're just like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Stand clear. And then, you, and then it starts to fill up as you go. And then the cum starts dripping out. Oh. <laughs> and it's just like, it's just like, oh, just like you guys, what the fuck's wrong with you guys? <laughs> yeah. People always say there's probably jizz all over the subway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, it's but oh, it's, yeah. it's Ari's bum jizz. Oh, <laughs> Ew, dude. God. <laughs> My day. <laughs> Was she wearing a skirt or something? No, jeans, I think, probably took them. Maybe shorts. I don't remember wow. exactly. Maybe it was pretty, shorts it was the it's beach. great. Yeah. That's great. Ugh. Sex club is great. Sex yeah. club is fucking nuts. So Dude. I didn't finish. So I'm, jo- I'm, j- I'm, I'm, I'm grinding. I'm, I'm plowing. Yeah, you're trying and to And a guy, I, after the tap, I'm a little rattled, yeah. and I look to my left, <laughs> full on old guy just going, uh, uh, <laughs> staring at what me. What are you doing? I mean, <laughs> like here to here, this close. And I'm like, ah. 
yeah, and I couldn't take it. And I, I just said, all right, we're done. We're done. She's like, what? She was kind of getting into it. Like, uh, well, wait, I'm, wh- why are we stopping? And I go, and because she goes, like, oh. your show has kept going next. <laughs> yeah, and it was like ball bag down to here, big wow. white, gross dong. And I said, that's a wrap, sister. And we we went and had a cocktail. Wow. Yeah. How fun. Wait, were you fucking totally naked fucking? No, I, I was too you scared. Pants I just down? pulled, I put them down to here and pulled out of the boxers. Okay. Out Pull out of the, the boxers. boxers. You wouldn't even lower your boxers? No, I didn't want my ass out. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. too exposed. It's too vulnerable. Some guy could put a yeah, glow stick up my ass. Yeah, somebody's going to come by ass. and get you. Yeah, exactly. I already got the tap. And how'd the lady feel about this? Uh, she was she was mad I stopped. That's nice. But I was like... She was like, there's a German guy right there. I yes. I've done what you couldn't. There's a big German Nazi helmet next to me getting <laughs> stroked. His name was Helmut. <laughs> Helmet Lang. Helmet Wang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Oh, How much of being that normalized where you're like, hey, can I can I go now? I like, know. is this just a what are we doing here? Is this a train or exactly. a beginning or just a one on one? Yeah, no, I was like, no, thank you. Wow, and he was kind of so- mad at me, like, all right, dude, jeez, you don't have to yell at me. <laughs> you yell, you're like, get out of I here. I was like, ah, I did that. <laughs> you did that. It was a language barrier. I was, I was like, pigeons. I was like, ah, <laughs> there's a bug in here. And then, yeah, you, see, you saw an old man jacking off next you, to you me. You guys make some eye contact when you look at him? A little bit. And he was grunting and sweating. It was too that, much. Did that get your heart again? Or? No, no, it uh. freaked me out. It was too much. It was too close. Like, if he was like where guardrail is, I could have done it, but he was yeah. like where you were. Oh. oh. God, and she I, was doggy at that point. I I flipped her to doggy, so she didn't see anything. Oh, I want to go to one of those things and jerk off, off around people. Fucking, <laughs> I want to just go up to people now and be that guy. Just like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's accepted. <laughs> I can't believe that place isn't packed with dudes jacking off. Well, they're, they're, they're bouncer, <laughs> very big bouncer, very big. Uh, but you're not you're not allowed to jack off like that. Well, it was all it was like seventy thirty women. They let in women and gays hard. Yeah, yeah, they were hard. Uh, and, um, we only got any in dudes the, fucking each other. No, no. All right, making out, but very. I saw like one, <laughs> one guy making out with a guy. What's the fucking vibe in here? Is it? Is it like? It's super laid back. It's just very like, hey man, you know. And this would be shut down in six minutes in America. Good. I know. Well, I'd but, lead the charge and say we got to burn that fucking place to the ground. It was. It was worth seeing. We felt like Caligula. It was felt like the Roman Empire. Yeah. Just women laying out on on a bed after they got in the pool, just completely naked, and you're like trying to be cool, yeah, you know. But oof, it was wild, very hot. <laughs> I gotta get back there. It was a live band in one room. I mean, it was incredible. I didn't do shit. Yeah, you didn't That's fuck in crazy. front of a guy. No. When did you, you have that guy's number? <laughs> I'll find him. He's around. He's, I hopefully he hears this. Call in, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> we got a helmet from Berlin. Call again. <laughs> this motherfucker would not let anybody fuck this woman. Yeah. I will say I did a show there, and the crowd, I did the Holocaust jokes for 20 minutes, and they, they ate it up. They loved it. They liked yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I so, think they like it, dude. It's a nice release. I think they're secret. They want to bring like. it back. Yeah, it doesn't feel like... It's two generations past. Yeah. They're just like, we got it, bigger shit. It didn't feel like I went to Australia and it's just like the oh, aboriginals, the aboriginal, so, the native, the native. They're obsessed. They're such pussies. I know. It's like you didn't you didn't do anything. Your grandpa did or whatever. And it's like every commercial you get off the airplane, they hit you with it. Yeah. Just for them, last. And, them in Australia and Canada. Canada, too. just for last. Uh, start, every show they start with. Like, uh, we need to acknowledge, yes. the acknowledge what, that this yes. club wouldn't have been here if not for ah. fucking, yeah. <laughs> you know, happy go lucky fucking losing a battle. Yeah, right. <laughs> what you call <laughs> happy go lucky? Happy go lucky. Happy go lucky. I don't know. Whatever. It's just like, this isn't the right vibe for a comedy show. They used to yeah. have this not happening stories on YouTube. They would just put any commercial, so it'd be. He walks in and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, where's the bathroom right away? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wealthy Texas is tough. I never fucked with it other than that. I was the only wealthy Texan I've ever met. Oh, uh, no. Like the dudes, wealthy Texas dudes are like guys that are trying to really like live forever. They get like plastic surgery, like chicks get plastic surgery, like nose jobs, like yeah. blood lip injections. What's the other stuff when you get like young people's blood? <laughs> yeah, like a, is that adrenochrome or something? 
What's adrenal glands? Yeah, bro. I'm not trying to get these platforms. <laughs> True. <laughs> what is that? I don't even know adrenal what it is. Yeah, right. Liberal. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably have it at Thanksgiving, dude. Yeah, it's probably yeah. all you guys. <laughs> it's like a yeah. gland. It's like some glandular <laughs> thing. You can like get it out of a baby and you like eat it and feel like a god. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. And then you mandatory vax everybody. <laughs> and they drink Chris loves goat. the mandatory vax, by the way. Do you like it? I'm indifferent to it. It's racist. It's Disgusting. inherently it's systemic <laughs> racism, bro. It's inherently uh, racist. You can't be on a jury, apparently, now if you're not vaccinated. Really? I oh, think that's, that's great. It. Damn. Well, back to all white juries. That's what they're saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I, uh, I'm i a big fan of, you know, I can't stand the man's politics, obviously, but I love Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> big fan of the man. Pol- politics, abominable. What's Stuff he Stuff he's saying about the vaccine, can't stand it. Oh, yeah. But I yeah. like his pizzazz. <laughs> but what's like, he saying? What's he saying about the vaccine? He's not a, he's just not a, a proponent. Bunch of and nonsense. We love the vaccine. Bunch of nonsense, dude. You know, talking about simulation 201 or oh, man. when they simulate it, like what will we do in the event of a novel coronavirus? Yeah. Something, stuff like that, saying like people like ran a simulation like five years ago. And the, talking about how we would exactly suppress disinformation. Yeah, like yeah. if there were an event, how would we suppress disinformation? Yeah. Rather than like focusing on how to get people healthy. It's just not this bullshit, bro. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Me. I saw it. I just turned it off. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, mm. that's kind of how I feel about the whole thing. I like the guy. Yeah, I like his energy. Is he a geese? Is he an old guy? Is he yeah. young? Pretty old. He's RFK. Yeah, he's RFK. And he's got a fucked up throat. He got fucked so up. He sounds insane. Yeah, he got his. What, like that. Yeah. I've he, never heard anyone sound like him in my apparently, life. Apparently, apparently, he says it was from a vaccine. <laughs> fucked up his throat. <laughs> really? He said that. Not you know. Yeah, that's why he's off all the fucking major network. That's why he's off all the major tubes. Dude. Yeah, I will say this: you were anti-vax like years ago. I remember that. Yeah. So I was like, "What are you a fucking hippie?" I, I remember that. Remember yeah. years and years ago, I was like, they're positioning for a new trillion dollar industry. And, you know, they're getting it and they deserve it and they should have it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they should, we should all do what they say. And if you disagree, you're a fucking asshole, dude. And you're a threat yeah. to our democracy, <laughs> to our health. Yeah. It's I true. just hope all those people get the justice that tried to storm and overturn the entire government. Remember that? The justice? That they deserve justice. We yeah. need to rat those people out that oh, stormed the Capitol and attempted time. a coup. Yeah. Well, it all starts almost, with yeah. it all starts with finding homophobic emails. That's yes. where you find that's like the fucking breeding ground for Dude. anti My penis stings right now. I think Your I... penis is stinging. <laughs> <laughs> God. But yeah, man. I think that's true. I think the, I think we're safer as a country now that Gruden is not in charge of the, uh, Las, Vegas the Raiders. Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, the network they did they did not cut the head off the snake with that. If they were Definitely winning, not. if the Raiders, I know they're having a good year right now, but if that was like a long term, they won for like if that happened to Bill Belichick, the Patriots would be like, no, like we're keeping. Yeah, it. yeah I wonder. Now Belichick's like kind of now that Brady's gone, I think he could he could succumb to it. Yeah, but. I bet they would have. I bet if it was like New England and they were winning, the height of his power, like, bro. Yeah, where do you go from there? What do you think he's gonna do? Gruden, yeah. Be sad for like a year, yeah, and then be like, oh yeah, I have a hundred million dollars and I won a Super Bowl. True, yeah. But it is. It is always like everybody's thing when someone gets like canceled like that. Everybody's always like, you know, he's rich, he'll be fine. It's like what? So he should just be done with his life now? Yeah. yeah. All what he should did, he do? Yeah. All he did was like eight years ago. He sent an email. Could he buy a yeah. football team, like a minor league football team? They probably wouldn't sell. The Gruden, yeah, if the money's right, dude. I don't know. He might he grab like in, in like a year, he can he'll coach somewhere. J- he he's hit up John Bon Jovi, dude, and buy like an arena football team. <laughs> yeah, turn into a fat cat. I, that's the crazy thing is, I bet if he just coached for another three weeks, people would it'd be yeah. over. What do you mean? Like if they just didn't uh, respond to it? If he said like, "This is football." If, yeah, no, you just like, <laughs> just you just stop talking about it and like move on to something else. True, or just you know, if you came out like I'm sorry, I called people anti pussy, anti football pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that dude, that's got to have coaches fucking quake. Every dude. coach, every coach, is every coach I've ever been in front of has said something yeah. wildly yeah. homophobic. Yeah, right? it's like the military. It is. It's very similar to the military. Yeah, it's like we're gonna have the military. You know, people are going around killing people. You know, they have to do it. But it's like they're not going to be like, oh, excuse me. What yeah. did I yeah. say? You know, do you remember there was like an island? Like, I think it was like part of some Marine base. They had some separate island for like the most hardcore Marines. Do you ever hear about this? I know what it is, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> there was something where they like because like someone died because they were doing like yeah, sort of Paris, crazy. Paris Island. Yeah. Yeah. But I That's think it was they... like 
It was all, I think yeah, it was a lot like of friends a, over there. I don't like talking about. Yeah, that. I don't like to talk about that stuff. <laughs> but I remember them being like, "Well, this is crazy. We shouldn't be letting them do this." And it's like, I don't think this is any crazy. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Also, it's like look, I look at Jackass. <laughs> Jackass <laughs> is crazier than whatever. Yeah. At least they're doing something on that island to like get better kill other people <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah whatever they're doing can't be more dangerous than putting a blindfold on naked with a bull mm, true right so you want to cancel jackass of course you do <laughs> yeah. you fucking liberal no. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm fighting for those marines that want to do risky training on paris island yes. that's right no, i'm giving voice to the voiceless true yeah i think yeah i think those dudes are uh i think that's the agreement like if they die everyone's like yeah yeah it's it's friendly fire. They're trying to yeah. shut it down at the time. I well, they they have gonna... a yeah. You, if you have like health issues, they'll say like, hey, you know, sit out. Or if you want to, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> so it happened to Goggins. <laughs> well, I talked. To, I've told Goggins. So Goggins is a though. hero. Yeah, they Goggins. Told, they told Goggins. Yeah, he had a heart condition. He tapped out of the. Uh, I think they're called revolutions when you're in the Marines or Navy SEALs. It was a water revolution. He was like, mm. he popped or evolutions. That's Can't do called. it. Nah, he's one of his biggest. He's mistakes. crazy, right? Is he? Is he? What's he talking about on a daily basis? He, <laughs> he used to. Well, I he think he, I think he shredded his bod. Goggins has to do like like two hours of stretching a day. Really? Yeah, he ran. Yeah, his body he ran. He ran like hundred mile races. Yeah. He, what? And just <laughs> diarrhea all over himself. <laughs> Nipples bleeding. He's like, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why do people do that? Because they're not gay. They're the demons, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, what is it? Why yeah, not demons, bike? Bro. You bike instead. You he did it. He did all that shit. He was, I think he was doing like, did triathlons. everything he could. <laughs> yeah, dude. Couldn't escape his I want to get one of those stickers, dude. They give the marathoners to tell them how many times they had sex. It's <laughs> like 26.2. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally woke Brittany up with that the other day. That started, they should give guys stickers for sex. I'm shaking in bed. Did yeah. you ever see those stickers? 26.2? Yeah. 13.1? Yeah. And we passed the car. like, what is that? I was like, it's how many times they had sex. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered that and laid in bed and was like, <laughs> got her. <laughs> That's the best when you're shaking. Sean, what would yours say? Three? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many times have you had sex? Real too, rap. Too many to count, dude. Really? How many times? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. How many different girls? I don't know, man. I don't... If you had to guess, dude, don't get weird. You you lost count, dude? You pig. Yeah, dude, I'm a pig. You pigged out. I'm an absolute pig. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean... Don't worry about it, Sean. I, I can see know. you're uncomfortable. You don't want to save yourself from marriage? Matter. No, maybe I should start now. Too late, dude. It's never too late. Damn it. Yeah, for a guy, yeah, you're right. For a guy, it ups your stock. True. Proves that you're, lots of you're a good guy. Yeah. But you can't talk about it. If they ask you, just be like, I don't want to talk about this. Girls will ask. They'll be like, so how many girls have you been with? You say, just you, babe. Never kiss and tell. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm just kind of looking for the right person. True. <laughs> share, share a moment with. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to say. Keeps me honest, dude. I think, yeah. about, I think about, I'm like, dude, if I had a... But with all this, like sex personality this person that person the whole dynamic where, where you're being like you're being pulled by the horse that's your sexual drive that is trying to make children yeah and then as soon as you make a child it just inverts and like it just is not about you literally at all so you get tricked by your biology and your like own kind of like blind sense of self like i need to do it and you have a kid and you're like yeah that's that shit didn't matter at all now I made yeah. a kid and I have to abandon this or I'm going to ruin this kid's life <laughs> on both sides. Yeah. That's again, I could have a completely like Irish immigrant mentality about that, but it's no. like, it's kind of the deal. You realize your whole sex life before kids was a trick and you <laughs> yeah. had a kid and you go, fuck. It's like, well, what now? It's like, dude, I don't know. Good luck. Dude. I, yeah. We, it's like, well, I'm going to be cool and wear cool stuff and come. And it's like, no, you're not. That'll yeah. ruin their lives. And you're like, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> what do I do then? It's like, I don't know. Clean your house, dumbass. And you're yeah. like, I guess I'll just clean my house. Yeah, and... it does change the psychology of it. Because you're like, if I turn into a sex fiend, then disgusting. It's weird to my kids. Dude, 
Yeah. And then imagine your dad at dinner being like, I've been coming in three weeks. You'd be like, Jesus yeah. fucking Christ, yeah, man. Dad, shut up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'd be a dad for a second. Yeah. <laughs> just, eat, yeah. just finish your chicken parm and spaghetti <laughs> and fucking watch the news. And you just watch two beings you brought into life just being like, I really, really hope they're happy because it would crush me if they weren't. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And it's cool. Every it now and again, cool. you get like a weird pain around where like your the tuba part of your cum machine is. <laughs> Sometimes that'll hurt on me, and I go, "God damn it, I got to get some cum out of me." But that's about it. Yeah. But there's this whole mental game of like, do they want me? Am I fucking? Sick? And it's like you just blast jizz inside of a lady and make a life, and it's just like, yeah, you got to just completely not do it. You got to completely reverse course now, and you're like, what? Yeah. Now, and you're like, Ugh. well, that's why I like coming fast. Because you're get your training. That's good training. Yeah, because it's like you just you go, whoa, you got me. You know what I mean? When you're fucking for a long time, when you're fucking for a long time and then you got to switch and do like a real boring position to come, you know, when you get stuck in that. So yeah. you're just like, I just need to kind of go slow and be missionary. <laughs> That's when you can get into tantric type stuff where it's like, let's yeah. just sync up our breath and see what happens. Like, nah, I just came fast. Yeah, I'll get it. I'm telling you, this will be we'll be both coming for hours. Without, a, yeah. you know, without me ejaculating, we'll get there. That's a cool thing to get into, to try to get into. Yeah. I haven't mustered up the courage to like, like when I know I'm about to get some pussy, I haven't been able to be like, hey, do you want to try to sync up? A, I don't want to ruin that moment. I think I'd, I'd be, I, it'd be easier for me to go with, for the spit in the mouth thing than, than sync up your breathing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Slow your, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a deviated septum. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> They're just sitting across from you thinking about making an appointment for the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm just getting lightheaded. I'm like, hold on, I'm breathing too fast, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's uh that is funny. It's interesting when you have to eventually switch gears in life. Because if you don't switch gears, you become just like a forty year old cool dude. That's forty yeah. year old cool dude, cool jeans in Atlantic City. Yeah. Being like, nah, dude, these chicks see something different in me. Dude, yeah, I'm I not just some old guy. I'm cool. And it's like, no, nah, they're I still got it. 21 year olds are kind of yeah. laughing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like this guy will buy us drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're cash cow. You have to, I, I do it again. I, I'm just, dude, I'm literally just shitting out of my mouth, but I, I do feel like you do have to, at some point, I'm, this is all me personally. I'm not being prescriptive, but it's like, it does help to just lose yourself in some sort of work or quest. Definitely. I'm just being like, I'm just going to give myself over to some sort of valuable thing that other people can benefit from. Yeah. So otherwise, I'm going to just spend 80 years to just realize like, yeah, dude, I am a loser. If you don't get off the track of like, it's all about me, it's all about me, it's all, you're going to become 80 and be like, hey, where'd everybody go? Yeah. You got to live yeah. an examined life. Fucking is the opposite of an examined life. It does rule, though. It's fucking. It's awesome. It's, it's no. It's incredible. It's incredible. I, tr why, when you say fucking, I would say my old my internet dating tactics of just like uh 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 uh, mm -hmm. uh 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 and just like morphing myself into something a lady wants to fuck. Yes, that's dark energy. Yeah, and it gets you. It, dude. It's the cause and effect rule of that is like tough, dude. Yeah, when it's like I'm going to. I'm going to let my boner completely design a life for me. Your boner yeah. does not have a good idea in store for what your life is. It hollows you out. Your boner is going to leave yeah. you. Boner, no, where are you going? It's like, good luck, bro. Yes. Here's, the, here's where I can't. You just ride your boner into the weirdest life possible. Dude, And yes. then you go, where am I? Where's oh, yeah. my boner? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boner! Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where are we having fun? Where's the soul behind the boner is really what you start asking yourself. Dude, I've come out of... I've come out of... <laughs> I've come out of, like, six to eight month sessions of just, like... You know that it's. I feel like it's like shark eyes. You get shark eyes. You get shark eyes on the dating apps. On the when you combine dating apps, porn, and yes. maybe professionals, brother, dude, brother. Now we're sharing. Yeah, I've been there. It's yes, and Woo! it's dude. It's a big. <laughs> <laughs> I see the pros. Like, oh, that was weird. Now I want to go on a date. You're like, oh, I want this girl to give me a hand job so bad. Yes. And then you come out of that and it's just empty. <laughs> Everything is empty. Like you haven't been I couldn't home. See myself you haven't with been that home person. and you got robbed. Yeah. You go, I couldn't see myself with that person. <laughs> oh, she's fucking hot. Uh. Yo. Yeah, it's tough stuff. Horrific. <laughs> it's truly tough stuff, dude. Horrific. <laughs>
I don't want to be a bummer. I hope I'm not being no, a bummer. No, no. This is, this is facts of life stuff. It is facts of life, dude. We got absolutely crushed by a four. It was, dude, it was like, and that's why like, I'll talk to my parents and I, I think they're just like, hey, what are you up to? And they're like, you're just like, you have no fucking idea what I've confronted. Yeah. I don't want to be a brat. Like, obviously, they confronted really gnarly shit, but it's like, dude, you know how you guys had like girls at like wherever, like the fucking soda shop or wherever the fuck you guys dude, were? Yeah. We have girls on our phone, dude, and we can scroll. It's it's like a, like a talking hologram. It's They're global. Like, what? It's yeah. global. Pussy got like, dude. They uploaded pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They uploaded the pussy, bro. Yeah. Now the pussy's on. It's the a phone. corporate conglomerate. Yeah. On every vampire imagin- squid. <laughs> on, the earth. on every imaginable level, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they carried like a crumpled up picture of like a lady with a bush, and it's like, bro. Bro. It's hitting them too, cause they got global dudes now. Yeah, true, and also the geezers. I would imagine they've been like, oh, it's all this smartphone pornography. All I imagine they've opened it up and been like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, that must be nice as a geezer, dude. To like, not be. I mean, it must be pretty crazy, but like to fully get into that in your well, much later years. I, I bet they're like impenetrable to it on some level. Like, what do you mean? Like, nah, that's gay or like... I think they've built up a, like... Whoa, that's weird. Because we we got eased into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it was just like, there was a little bit of online porn, but it was kind of just Playboy. You know what I mean? And then it gradually took us deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah. You know, if if you just got hit straight up with what's out there now, you'd be like, that's... It's Crazy. like when the, when the geezers try to smoke like new weed and you're like, what the hell is that crap? That stuff's way too strong. Back <laughs> yeah, in yeah. my day. Yeah, yeah. You take a couple puffs on a joint, you'd have a nice time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think they confront porn and have an existential crisis? We're like, Wah! 